just a nightmare. Well, well that had to be real. Rin? Uh, Catherine, what are you doing here? I called you yesterday. We need to talk. Uh, oh, right. Uh, sorry. Catherine, I'm... I'm sorry. Stop groveling. You're not the only one in the wrong here. The truth is... I found out a while ago I wasn't really pregnant. Really? I just... wanted to know what you were thinking first, but... then I couldn't manage to bring it up. Honestly, a part of me was relieved when I found out I wasn't pregnant. That's when I knew. But if we did have a child, things wouldn't work out for us in the end. So, before things get any worse, let's break up. Catherine. Don't look at me like that. It's for our own good. Let's move on and enjoy our own lives. But you'd better not regret it when I become a better woman in the future. Oh, could you throw out my things? It wouldn't be good to keep that lying around. Yeah, got it. And one last thing. This new lover of yours, what kind of woman is she? Well, the thing is, woman might not be the best word. Huh? You mean, it's not a woman? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh! They must really be something special. I didn't stand a chance, huh? I'm sorry. I told you to stop doing that. Oh, oh, it feels good to get that off my chest. Maybe I'll start by finding a new hobby. See ya. So, you find any leads on Rin? None. All my calls go to voicemail. I keep checking those deaths in the news, but nothing. Which means Rin's gotta be out there somewhere. Whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. What do those deaths have to do with anything? <sighs> oh, that shit couldn't have just been a dream. I don't buy it. Huh? What are you, crazy man? You thought Catherine died too, and then she showed right back up at your apartment. That's true, I guess. But my hand was still warm when I woke up. What kind of dream is that? Ah, come on. You're probably just holding your own hand in your sleep, you weirdo. No, I'm telling you, in the dream, we were together and... You okay, Vince? If you're mixing up dreams and reality, I think you finally lost it. Then what the hell was it? Watch it. What are you snapping at me for? I'm sorry. From what I remember, we were on that crazy staircase, trying to get away from some fucked up Catherine. As we got to the top, there was a flash of lightning. Too bad. Wait, wait a minute. That voice sounded like. No fucking way! What the hell, dude? Hip hop a hernia? No, no, you idiot. I'm heading out. Wait, what? Hold on. You! You know something about Rin, don't you? I haven't a clue what you mean. That voice that I heard in my nightmare, that was you, wasn't it? Pardon me, sir. A nightmare is merely a dream, is it not? 
Dream, reality, I don't care anymore! You are the only lead I've got, so you better start talking! Let go of me, please. I have nothing to do with this. Bullshit! Please, I'll stop the nightmares! What? What do you mean? What do you mean you'll stop them? Are you telling me you are the cause of these nightmares? Answer me! Uh, well, I wonder... I wonder my ass. You just said it! Did I? You heard it, right? Huh? Um, yeah. See? I didn't. Tell me! <laughs> and what is with these fucking shades? You are indoors! Yourself, you fucking monster! <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I, Thomas Mutton, am... Okay, to sum it up, when there are people like you who spend a long amount of time with a partner without commitment, it impedes the population model. The rate of population growth is less than optimal. Wasting a woman's time of greatest fertility is a hindrance to the future of the species. So we separate these non-fruitful couples and redistribute the women to men who can follow the natural order you see. Okay, so what? You're just killing men who have a partner that they don't want to marry, is that it? Well, to put it bluntly, it is a sacrifice for a noble cause. And we would have completed it if it weren't for that nasty pianist showing up every night with that strange power. It's not human. One might believe it is the work of an angel. Well, what the hell does that mean? Ugh, playing that piano without my permission. As a result, the sheep are not dying on schedule. Not to mention, it sounds horrendous! At least I was able to lay a successful trap, using your nightmare as bait. <sighs> Do you really think I give a damn about what you just said? Give it to me straight. You caused Ren's disappearance. Well, yes, that about sums it up. That's all you had to say. Now let Rin go! If you refuse to concede, the only option left is to die in the nightmare. If that's what it fucking takes, I'll do it! Now take me there, right now! There's no need for that. Simply wait for nightfall, as always. Fine! But you better believe we're coming back alive! <laughs> you seem confident. Tonight. I will show you what I can really do. Bring it on. Sup? You here already? What do you say we get our drink on? Hey, is everything all right? Uh, guys! Boss and Vincent are... It's okay. Don't say anything. Uh, sorry, just got a lead on Ren and we're just wrapping things up here. <laughs> you guys uh, start the party without me, huh? Sure, but, uh, take it easy, all right? No, no, don't worry. We're just playing some games here, right? I yes, that's right. <laughs> so, to pick up where we left off, if you can control the nightmares, make this one the last. For everybody, not just me. 
That's absurd. Uh, very well. Not like you'll live to see it. Uh, hey, Vincent. Are you sure about this? Sorry to make you worry. Trust me, I'll be fine. I just need to bring back someone important to me. And I won't fail. What's with him? Acting all badass? So wait, boss, you said... Huh? Boss? Dinner in a tomb coming right up. Hi! Hmm? What's that? You got a mail. Nice to finally meet you, in person. I'm actually leaving on a journey today. Whoa, that's pretty sudden. You look excited, though. I've never been on a journey by myself. Do you remember when I told you that I wanted to become something other than a human? I was desperately trying to break the shackles of wealth. But now I believe that with the right attitude, life can change for the better. Being surrounded by sheep was interesting. But now, it's time to experience the outside world as a human. That's the great thing about life. You can live it however you want. Thanks. You're always so encouraging. I actually told Roderick something earlier. I said that I could support his music financially if he needed it. Now let me guess. He refused. <laughs> yes. He became quite upset with me. Thought that he would succeed of his own accord. But he gave me his contact information. And he also gave me a voice training regimen that I can do even when I'm traveling. He would. Do you think I'll be able to improve my singing on my own? Just give it all you've got. If you put your heart into it, that'll speak for itself. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You got a mail. Curly hair. There's no mistaking it. Nice scarf. Name's Roderick. I'm Vincent. It's uh, nice to formally meet you. Is it just me, or did the bar get fancier? <clears throat> I don't know why, but that waitress told me I could do whatever I want to it. So I rearranged it to my liking. I added my song to the jukebox. You won't be able to hear it anywhere else, so be sure to give it a good listen. You listen to my song? It's awesome, right? So I went to visit my friend's grave. Oh, huh? how was it? Sorry. I guess that's a strange question to ask. It was no big deal. But at least now I feel at peace. I also saw my ex. I told her I'm gonna start singing again. She actually started crying, saying she's been waiting to hear that. Doesn't matter how many times you screw up. You just gotta keep following your passion. That's what life's about. And when I told Shiny it, Abul, that story, he said that maybe he'll try to become a singer too. Trying to be a singer with a voice like that. <laughs> As if. Uh, glad you guys are getting along. That'd be fun to teach that guy how to sing after he returns from his journey. Thanks. I couldn't have made it without you. Hi, Vincent. I was actually hoping I'd run into you. I've got something important on my mind. I need to have a conversation with Anna and my fiance. <sighs> Oh, good luck. Yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks to you, I now have the courage to move forward. I hate to admit it, 
you'll always be a hero to me. You're about to take a big step in your life too, right? I don't know exactly what you're going through, but I support you. Yeah, I see now. What's up? You have that look in your eyes. I remember it from the nightmare. That look of determination is unmistakable. But it seems like you've changed. Changed? What do you, what do you mean? Yes. I sense a newfound resolve in you. You must have met someone who changed your life. Maybe I should try something new, too. Excuse me. I wonder what, though. I'll talk to my girlfriend about this. Today's lead story is the mysterious weakening deaths. James Thompson, age 33, was found dead today. Was he in the nightmare, too? Were we climbing together? And George Baker, age 30. Once again, the names of the deceased. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? You seem different. In a good way, I hope? Hmm. You have the face of someone who's made a big decision. What do you want from the future? What are you trying to obtain? I guess I want to open my mind a little. It all starts here. An endless sky awaits you atop the mountain. It seems that the legend continues to grow. Would you like to tell us our fortune? <laughs> hmm, let's see. My curly hair tells me that you two should try doing something new. Something new? Maybe we should tell fortunes in the city. It's time for us to say goodbye. Good night. See you tomorrow. It's a little tense between you and Boss there. Everything cool? Oh, nothing. We were just getting worked up over a little bet we made. Hey, so whatever happened with me? We're meeting again today. I need to settle things. I never thought you'd get so close to someone you just happened to bump into. Wasn't that how you and I first met? We ran into each other in the hallway and dropped our lunches. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I guess that's all it takes sometimes, huh? <sighs> Wonder if I'll have that nightmare again. I'm gonna dream. I'd rather it be about some hot babe. Yeah, but then you'd wake up and cry yourself to sleep again. Dude, that's fucking harsh. The course is already set. Just need to keep pushing. Going to be happy, no matter what. So you broke up with Catherine, huh? You don't regret it. No, I had to do this. I was lying to you and to myself. I don't have time to hesitate. 
You've got guts, man. Nah, I'm just an idiot in love. Idiot or not, I'll support you, no matter what path you choose. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, uh, me tomorrow. I wonder what Rin's up to. Don't worry, tomorrow everything will be back to normal. You know, I'm glad we always hang out like this. It's like my shelter from the storm. You should remember these times. I don't ever want to take you guys for granted. What the hell are you talking about? Come on, don't spoil the moment. You guys look a hundred years older. Are the nightmares really that bad? I've never had one, so it's kind of hard to imagine. Never changed, Toby. Ah, <laughs> oh, I won't let this be my last drink. told Rin how I feel. I can't let anything stand in our way. Same through glasses, huh? You seem to really love rum and gold. Here's some cocktail trivia that may reflect your current mood. The El Diablo, the cocktail named after a demon. This red cocktail is a devilish combination of tequila, lime juice, and ginger ale. Be careful not to let your diabolic companion get you too drunk. That is all for tonight's trip. Please enjoy the rest of the story. Empty? Erica, need a drink. What? Order anything you want. Beer. Soccer, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Sound of that. Class. You certainly do love your beer. I'm sure we've all left a beer out for too long, causing it to go flat. When that happens, you can always use it in a batter to fry food or as a fertilizer for your plants. I hear that marinating pork or steak in beer tenderizes the meat. Wonder if that would work on sheep as well. <clears throat> I feel like I'm getting the stink eye, so. That will be all for now. That was the beer trivia for the night. I will now let you return to the main story. Empty? You still want a drink? Yeah. Sake. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Shit-faced, all right? Mm. I won't let this be my last trip. Finally told Brynn how I feel. I can't let anything stand in our way. It appears that you have emptied the cup. I know, you certainly do love your sake. Here is a story of old for you. According to legend, Yamada no Orochi drank Yashio Orino sake and became drunk, enabling Susanoo to slay him. It's said that the Yashio Orino sake brewed a total of eight times. The ingredients are unknown, but it was supposedly sweet in both taste and aroma. Yashio Orino sake was so good at putting an eight-headed serpent to sleep. I'd love to try some. That concludes the sake trip. The story is reaching its climax, so I'll let you return to it. Empty? You still want to drink? Yeah. I 
wife. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Don't get shit-faced, all right? Often associate wine with France, but its history dates all the way back to Roman times. It's said that Caesar's conquest brought the art of winemaking to France. I guess it was through bloodshed that wine was able to tour the world. That's all the wine trivia for tonight. Now, please enjoy as the story approaches its climax. The dies cast. Empty. You still want to drink? No, I'm cool. the rumors, the guys are for everyone. He needs to take responsibility. But just don't be stupid about it, okay? Everyone's worried about you. I'll be fine, don't worry. Did you hear? I figured out who the witch is. Really? Well, who is it? It was me. <laughs> you know all that shit that went on when we were young? Seems it got mixed in with the rumors. Well, you did disappear that one time. And to think I just kept spreading the rumor, fooling people. Is there anyone who believed it? You. Well, I never believed in the first place. Listening to you never leads to anything good. What? Anyway, about what you and Boss were talking about? Dumbass. It's all a lie. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow we can drink and enjoy ourselves. Okay. I hope so. Come back here tomorrow, okay? Have a drink. I'm sure Rin's rooting for you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Minecraft Productions here. And I just want to say a big thank you for everyone who has donated so far. And an even bigger thank you if you could go down in the link below and donate to our cause for the British Heart Foundation. We did a Tough Mudder early May. And it'll be great if we can reach our goal. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Maybe go check out my channel when you have a chance. And thank you again.